ಓಂ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಗುಂ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಕ್ಲೀಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಗೋವಿಂದಾ ಗೋಪೀ ಜನವಲ್ಲಭಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಕೋಮಳ ಕೂಜಯನ್ ವೇಣು ಶ್ಯಾಮಳೋಯಂ ಕುಮಾರಕ ವೇದ ವೇದ್ಯಂ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭಾಸತ ಪುರತೋ ಮಮ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದೂಪಾಯ ವಿಶ್ವೋತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಹೇತವೆ ತಾಪತ್ರಯ ವಿನಾಶಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ನುಮಃ ಓಂ ಜಯತಿ ಜಗದಿ ಮಾಯಾಧವಸ್ತೆ ವಚನರಚನಮೇಕಂ ಕೇವಲ ಚಾಕಲಯ್ಯ ಧ್ರುವಪದಮಿ ಯಾದೋ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾದೋ ಧ್ರುವೋಯ ಸಕಲಕುಶಲಪಾತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಪುತ್ರ ನೋಸ್ಮಿ we are listening to a very important topic satsanga and dussanga so as a part of the sadhana we have heard that mukhya dastu mahat kripaya eva the growth of bhakti even the establishment of bhakti the growth and sustenance is only possible by the blessings of mahatmas and then last class we heard that but this mahat sangha is durlabha agamya amoghascha very difficult to get the satsanga but once we get it's infallible it will never fail it will always protect us it will always help us to now we continuing next sutra labhyate pi tat kripaya eva labhyate pi tat kripaya eva labhyate api even if we api even if we are getting satsanga suppose we are getting satsanga so we say satsanga means sanga with the mahatma sanga with the thought sanga with the shastra sanga with the ishwara sanga with atma everything anything any type of satsanga is only possible by tat kripaya eva tat kripa bhagavat kripaya eva so to have satsanga we need bhagavan's grace with the satsanga what we gain bhagavan's grace only <laughs> so bhagavad anugrahena eva by bhagavan's is anugraha alone grace and blessings alone we get we receive tat kripa now tat kripaya eva satsanga possible bhagavan's grace so satsanga is the main aadhar or cause for bhakti so bhakti is possible to have the pure bhakti that not this kind of bhakti where you know everybody goes to bhagavan and then ask for this and that that is very common in the world even that is also bhagavan's grace only but to have the pure bhakti para bhakti for bhagavan is only possible by by mahat kripa this mahat kripa is possible on by bhagavat kripa ಲಭ್ಯತೆ ತತ್ ಕೃಪೆಯ ಸೋ ಸಿ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕರುಣ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ವೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕೃ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಸಾಧಕ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕೃಪ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕೃಪ ತತ್ ಕೃಪೆಯ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಪ ಡಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಸಾಧಕ ದಿ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕೃಪ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ we will have that ishwara vasana to have this kind of adhyatma dah now that longingness to have the spiritual experiences to f- to see whether something is there higher than this material life is there something higher than this to such a thought 
such a thought is possible only by by bhagavad kripa so if suppose in our hridaya there is no adhyatma no there is no mumukshutva no there is no mumukshutva there is no uh, hunger for bhagavan there is no uh, no that longing as for the lord if it is not there who will walk the path of dharma even if people walk the path of so called spirituality it will not be spirituality it will be some kind of you know another means to have more bhoga <laughs> that are nimittam bahu krutavesha so that is not so the real spirituality that you know that utkata agraha adhyatma daha for bhagavan that is only possible by bhagavan's grace when that kind of adhyatma bhava is there then only we will search for a guru there is no adhyatma bhava then even mahatmas come in front of us also we don't recognize ah, somebody i am <laughs> so how bhagwan's grace work first you know that brings that kind of an awareness in our heart that there is something more than all this you know what is seen there is something more to have that kind of a bhav now that is only by ishwara anugraha deva pumsam advaita vasana ishwara anugraha deva only by the grace of ishwara people will be have this advaita vasana ishwara vasana adhyatmika vasana is only possible by bhagavad anugraha so this is how first so first to have that mumukshutva now mumukshutva is there or the desire to realize ishwara is there but we may not be able to really that is there in our heart but because of that because of our you know situations in life we may not be able to really work for it work on it it is there but then this happened that happened our interest goes away <laughs> Uh, my in because of the puro vasana has become so strong that slowly slowly we come back to the world and then live like that so not only that bhagwan's kripa you know actually uh, produce it only bhagwan's kripa nourishes it when ishwara kripa is there then only we can actually search for fulfillment not only that only because of bhagwan's kripa we meet our guru <laughs> so it's like a you know catch 22 situations in the sense because of bhagwan we meet our guru because of guru we meet bhagwan so only bhagavad anugraha ishwara anugraha eva no tat kripaya eva labhyate kim labhyate what will gain uh, guru sagamagama ha we are able to reach to the lotus feet of our guru that is also possible by bhagavad gita not only that we reached our guru <laughs> we may have a lot of respect and uh, you know uh, love for our guru but suppose the guru is not not feel uh, what kind of people they are because virakti is there <laughs> so to have that karuna in the heart of guru towards us that's also because of ishwara anugraha so in sadhaka also in siddha in mahatmas also how bhagwan in a work bhagwan work as artha anukamba this artha anukamba in the heart of guru alone makes them come down from their you know mahasam or you know kaivalya samadhi they come down and then be with us and then bear all this kinds of nonsense see they don't have to you see for us there is no way that we have to go through our prarabdha is there <laughs> whether we like or not we have to sit through the class if they want oh, what is this person is talking but because because niyama is there so we have to sit but not a siddha you know the moment they realize brahman then up to them whether they want to keep the body or not keep the body etc 
although prarabdha is a prarabdham pushyati vabhu etc but if they really wish to let go there is nothing in this universe which can block them then why they come back that is krupa See, you think about it, okay? They can apara sachit sukha sagare, they can become one with the apara sachit sukha sagare. Why they come back to this, this mundane world again and then we being with the foolish people asking questions, Swamiji, where is your house? What is your this? That's what people ask, you know? I mean, it's okay. But you see, to a person who has, who has reached there, to come back, that need lots of krupa in their heart. And Bhagavan is the one who creates that Krupa in their heart. If Bhagavan is not creating that Krupa in their heart, they will not come back. If no Mahatmas come back to this world and be with us, who will guide us? The books have no power. The books are there, we can read the books. But the books cannot actually inspire us. Inspiration comes only from Mahatma. Knowledge, information, yes. Experience and inspiration only from Mahatma. So, how Mahatmas, why Mahatmas come back, come to this world, be with us and bear with our no, all nonsenses because, because of that Krupa. Karuna, Varunalaya, Palaya, Maam. You know, they are Varunalaya of Karuna. If you read the uh, Thotakashta, you will see this aspect of Karuna again and again and again coming. Because otherwise why such Mahatmas be with us? So that Krupa, no, that Dinanukampa, that Arthanukampa is only because Bhagavan puts that there. Because of that they are there. Because of that they accept us with all our limitations. You know, they say that Mahatmas can see through us. <laughs> Sometimes people think that we cheat them. Oh, we made them fool. No, no. They, they understand that this person is a fool of this only. But still, they accept them. They accept us. Because that is, this is Dinayanukamba. That is Arthayanukamba. So, Labhyate api tatkripayaiva. See, Bhagavan Narada was the greatest example. You know, as a Dasi Putra, he had that company because of Ishwara Krupa. And in his entire, we will see that Bhagavan is always carrying out this mission. Whoever is really praying to get Bhagavan, he comes there. Like, you know, Dhruva. You know, Dhruva was, we have seen that. So, Narada Stadupa Karnya so when Dhruva, when Bhagavan saw that five-year-old boy, so determined to have Bhagavan, and this boy, how can it be possible? Only by the grace and blessings of Narada, Dhruva could take up that life. Think about five-year-old boy. Is it possible for a boy to do that kind of tapas? That is because of Narada's anugraha. Tat kripaya eva. That's only by the krupa of the guru. A shishya is able to, you know, take up any sadhana. And how this guru's blessing comes to us? Bhagwa by Bhagavad kripa. So, he said that, suppose, you know, how Bhagavan works in our life? Bhagavan directs us towards gurus. Or gurus come in search of us, if we are really Uttama Adhikari. In Sri Krishna's life, you will see that, you know, uh, one after another, one after another, gurus are coming to him. Bhairavi Brahmani came and taught, and then Sakshal Totapuri came and taught, see, and otherwise, Bhagavan himself come. If you see the life of Ramana Maharshi, Bhagavan himself, Arunachala Ishwara, himself was his guru. That's also possible. But we should be genuine. <laughs> if we really pray for Bhagavan, if we cry for Bhagavan, 
इधर भगवान विल कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अवर गुरु और भगवान विल कम डायरेक्टली एंड विल गाइड अस फॉर श्योर सो लभ्यते अपि तत्कृपया एव इवन टू गेट महत् संकल्प महत् समागम वी नीड वी नीड द ग्रेस ऑफ भगवान वही आर यू टेलिंग लाइक दिस बिकॉज यू नो द गुरुज ग्रेस गुरुज ग्रेस You know, without Guru's grace, we cannot gain anything in this world. Why are you telling like this? Says, Tasmin, Tajjane, Bheda Abhavate, Tasmin, Tajjane, Bheda Abhavate, Tasmin, Tajjane, Bheda Abhavate. भेद अभाव दर इज नो डिफरेंस भेद से अभाव दर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन तस्वीन तज्जने दर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन भगवान एंड भगवान डिवोटीज भगवान नो बिकॉज दर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन भगवान एंड भगवान डिवोटीज हा वेन वी गेट द ग्रेस ऑफ अवर गुरु वी गेट द ग्रेस ऑफ भगवान ओनली इफ नो इफ द बी इज सिकल टू ए भगवान द गुरु इज हिमसेल्फ इज इज गुरु गुरु इज हिमसेल्फ इज भगवान सो भगवान ग्रेस ओनली ओनली फ्लोज थ्रू द गुरु सो दर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन गुरु एंड भगवान ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त ईश्वर हिमसेल्फ इज ईश्वर गुरु आत्मा ईश्वर एंड गुरु एंड आत्मा आर नॉट थ्री थिंग्स वन सेम ट्रूथ एक्सप्रेस एस ईश्वर एंड गुरु एंड आत्मा सो वी शुड हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ भाव टुवर्ड्स गुरु So Guru is not a person. Guru is our Ishta Devata Himself. Guru is Sakshal Bhagavan Himself. No Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma. That's my Sri Guru Venama. That kind of bhava should be there on our Guru. That's mean that jane bheda bhava. There's no bheda. There's no difference between. Between the Ishwara and Bhakta, so Bhakta Anugraha is equal to Ishwara Anugraha. The grace and blessings of Bhaktas, grace and blessings of Mahatmas are are Bhagwan's blessings only. It's not that they are different. So we in Brahma Sutta in the Upanishad also we hear Brahma with. Brahmaeva bhavati, no. Ah, that one who knows Brahman is Brahman himself. There's no difference. Also, in Gita also we'll hear, "Nyani tu atma eva me mata." Nyani is my own self. I myself is Nyani. So there's no difference between between the tasmin tajjane bheeta ha. भागवत से ज्ञावादृश भजंदी अन्य भाव मे भक्त पर्सन हू लवस् मी वेदर ही नो हू एम ऐ और ही इज नॉट अवेर ऑफ मै ट्रू सेलफ इफ दट पराभक्ति टचस हिस् हार्ट दर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन ही एंड मी दर इज नो मोर टू पीपल You know, when Ganga ji flows and becomes one with the ocean, there is no more Ganga and Samudra. Samudra alone is there. Like that, once once the you know Bhakta becomes one with Bhagwan, then Bhagwan alone is there. So that's why you no, know, that's why in Gita we will see you now when we ekadasha na adevar she naam chana rada ha. No, among Narada, among the verses I am Narada, Prakhlada, Chatmi, Daitya, I am among the Daitya, I am Prakhlada. So here and there, and we see that Bhagwan and Bhakta are one and the same. We can see it everywhere. So the Anugraha, the grace. So we may not see in our case, we may not be, have, we not have that kind of purity to see Bhagwan. So 
That's why Bhagavan comes in the form of Mahatmas. So that we can see them, we can talk to them, we can be with them, we can serve them. You know, if Mahatmas are the, not there, then it's very difficult for us to get connected with that Ishwara. That's why Bhagavan, Tasmin Tajjane Bheda Abhavat. There's no difference between, between the Bhagavan and Bhagavad Bhakta. So what we should do? That is, yes, there's no difference between Bhagavan and Bhakta. What we should do? Tadeva Sadhyatam. Tadeva Sadhyatam. What we should do in our life? We should have satsangaha. Tadeva Sadhyatam. Satsanga alone is to be accomplished. Whenever possible, wherever possible, we should get ourselves associated with Mahatmas. Okay, so Mahatmas, Mahachindana, you know, Ishwara. So, in our life, what is the most important thing to do? The most important thing is Satsanga. So, Tadeva Sadhyata, we should do that and that alone, as much as possible. So, repeating twice. To emphasize, to give the emphasis. The most important thing in our life is to have satsanga. Why? Shastra says, what is this greatness of satsanga? Everywhere, no, this satsanga is praised. Why? Says, Jadyam diyoharati sinjati vachi satyam Manunyatim dishati papam apakaroti Chetaf prasadayati dikshutano ti kirtim Satsanga dikadhayakim nakado ti pumsam. What the satsanga cannot do to people? Satsanga can bless us with in every aspect. Like jadyam dhiyo harati. Dhiyaha jadyam karo di kim satsanga hai. See, when we, there is lots of jadata, buddhi. The buddhi comes from, from the Panjabhutas. So the, the Satyugamsa of Panjabhuta becomes buddhi. So as the Bhutas are jada, there is a jadyata in the buddhi also. That's why when we sit in the class also we go to sleep. It happens because the buddhi has the jadata. Thomas, Thomas is there. And many times, although the things are very well explained, our buddhi is not as able to grasp it. It is not because of the shastra's problem. It's our buddhi's problem. Jadata is there. So, and see, don't understand. Miss is very okay. Misunderstand, misinterpret it. Because of the jadata of our buddhi. Now, how can we remove this jadata? Because it's a nature. <laughs> Says satsanga. Satsanga tve nisanga tvam. All this. Can you switch off this? So, the, the jadada of uh, our buddhi can be only removed by satsanga. Okay? So, jadyam dhiyo hairati. How? Because of satsanga, what happens? Our mind becomes slowly, slowly satvikam. The the jadida of the is, is actually causing us. We are not able to understand. We go into sleep. Tamas. So this satsanga, when we are in the company of Mahatma, see, satsanga is not only just listening to Shastra, okay? Sometimes people think that, oh, go and then listen and then class. That's all good. But the actual satsanga is not just listening to the lectures. Satsanga is to be with Mahatmas. You know, just be with them. You know, so to see them itself. See, we, uh, when I was all, see in Rishikesh, Swami Chidanandji Maharaj, who was the president of, uh, you know, DLS, Puja Gurudev's Guru Bhai was there. Sometimes Swamiji comes and then in the afternoon, uh, sometime, like one and a half hours, etc., uh, Swamiji will be sitting in one corner and will be doing his own work. We are allowed to go and sit there. Many people used to come and just sit there. 
It's not that he is giving a lecture or anything. He will be just sit there. We can also say sometimes he will just sit there facing Ganga ji and then like that. We also sit there. But you know, that one, one and a half hours gives us so much of, there is no, no words, there is no explanations, there is no dialogues, nothing. We just see them, him, and just sit there. How we feel, feel that we have done a great meditation of hours. Even such a long, long meditation also will not give us that kind of a joy and that, you know, clarity. They are not talking anything. But seeing them, that will give us proof for Ishwara Astitva. You know, that's why Jadyam Dhyo Hedati. Then, Sinchati Vachi Satyam. They give the power to words. See, the Shastra is there. We read the Shastra. But when they speak, oh, then a different kind of experience. Why? Because their walk is Satyam. And, Manunyatim Dadati. The Satsanga gives us so much of mana. You know, all how we feel now, I am a rich person. I am born in a, in a great family. I belong to him. Belong All this. Our mana now is very limited. No. Makuru dhana jana yovana garuva. Our garuva is only dhana jana yovana. But when we are in satsanga, we get a different kind of mana. What is that? Aham bhakta. I belong to Bhagavan. And that mana, that pride can remove many things from our life. I shall not do this. I will not walk the path of adharma because aham bhakta. Manunyatim dadati papa papa karuti. There are, no, we do not know what kinds of papa vrittis are there of how many births. Janma janma antara papa. Janma janma antara vasanas are there in our heart. Is it possible for us to take out one by one by one? No, not possible. By the satsanga, when we are in the divine company, when we are with them, then what happens? All those papa vasanas get destroyed by themselves. Papa mapakaduti, chetaf prasadayati. Ah, what kind of a prasada? No, a clarity, a kind of freshness, a kind of joy. The kind of joy, happiness, freshness, fulfillment we receive when we are at the end of the with Mahatmas, you know. That is, we cannot it, can compare it with anything. Cheta prasada yati. Give so much of prasada to our mind. And dikshuta noti kirtim. Give us great fame and name. You know, we say, you know, uh, we see when we go to some place. Also. Who is Swamiji? Oh, so Jinmaya Mission. <laughs> they are doing namaskara not because of this person. People don't even know us. Why they do namaskara? They are doing namaskaras to puja Gurudev. Or Bhagavan Sangracharya or Sakshal Sri Parameshwara, they don't see this thing. Who is this? Nobody. A big zero. But because of the satsanga, because we are attached with Mahatmas, then that opens the doors. Dikshuta noti kirtim satsanga dikkathayakim nakharoti pumsa. There is nothing in this world which satsanga cannot accomplish. So, tadheva sadhyatam, tadheva sadhyatam. You know, so that is the mukhya upaya for bhakti. So, in our, in our, it's although this satsanga is very durlabha, you know, but still we have to search for it. Wherever there is Ishwara, Kadha is there. Wherever there are Mahatmas, we should go meet them, be with them. Don't try to, you know, to argue with them and then establish our, try to establish our points. Sometimes we do such a foolish things. We go to Mahatmas and starts to, you know, they may be telling something. See, if they are telling something, okay, 
understand that they are talking to one person among us. That upadesha may not be for us. You understand that, that is not for me. You keep it there, do tamaskar. But we should not have this kind of go and then argue with them also. <laughs> Veda says, when they come and sit, don't open your mouth. <laughs> you know, when they are there, asane nas nishyasa. No? Uh, we should not even do nishwasa in front of them. Just listen. Okay? Be with them. Being with them is the greatest blessing. So, so, most important thing is to seek the grace of Mahatmas. Because this Maho, Maha, Maha, um, this Satsanga, Mahatsanga is the doorway to Moksha. Mahatsanga is like the Dwara to Ishwara. We get to, we come to the, uh, uh, the door and it is easy for us to cross over. You know, so that is very, 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 very important. So, uh, Kabila Maharshi is talking to Devahuti. He says, Prasanga majaram pasham atmanakkavayo viduhu saheva sadhu shukrutva moksha dwaram apavritam in this world, if we get connected with or attached with anyone, anything, any being, any place, that is the cause of dukkha. Attachment is dukkha. But the same attachment, when it is with Bhagavan or Bhagavad Bhaktas, no, Saeva Sadhu Shukratva. When we have that attachment and then connection with sadhaka, sadhus, mahatmas, satpurushas. Then what happened? Moksha dwaram apavritam. That connection with Mahatmas, that attachment with Mahatmas happened. That will, that will open the Moksha dwara. The same thing which binds us in the universe will be the cause for the opening up of our life in, with the Mahatmas. So, tadeva saede sadhava sadhvi sarva sangha vivarjitaha sangha steshwada de pratyaha sangha doshahara hite. These Mahatmas, how are they? Sadhavaha sarva sangha vivarjitaha. Please understand one thing. What is the problem with the world? If we get attached with them, they also get attached with us. Then what happens? Ha, then slowly, slowly, our prema becomes, uh, you know, asakti. Asakti, when the asakti comes, then what happens? Ha, then start the entire play. Rag, dvesh, madha, matsadya, moha, get ugly. But the same thing that it happened to Bhagavan, to Mahatmas, it becomes, you know, moksha dwar, how? Because even, the, even though we get, get even though we get attached with Mahatmas, Mahatmas are not going to get attached with us. Why? Because Sarva Sangha Vivarjitaha. <laughs> they have enjoyed, they have ever surrendered their lives at the lotus feet of Bhagavan and they have only one chindanam. Tat chindanam, tat kadhanam. That's all. They only see Bhagavan alone as their Adhara of life. Nobody else in this world. So, what happened? Sarva Sangha Vivarjita, all kinds of Sangha, all kinds of attachments are Vivarjita, gone. For whom? For Mahatma. Because of that, even though we are getting attached with them, they will not get attached with us. For sure. Sarva Sangha Vivarjita. So, Sangha Steshu. So we should pray that, Oh Bhagavan, please let me have Sangha with my Guru, Mahatmas. Why? Because Sangha Doshahara Hite, if we get attached with them, they will remove this kind of Sangha from our heart. They will teach us how to love. No? That's a beautiful song. Sadguru Tumare Pyar Ne Jina Sikha Diya. You heard? Sometimes, you know, one day, one day you should sing that. Very. Sadguru tumare pyarane jina sikha diya. How we can live is taught to us by the prema of Bhagwan, Of Guru. You know, Guru teaches us how to love. <laughs> because that love is pure love. Their love is not, you know, expecting anything from us. 
the love is so pure the, that love is the bheshaj for asakti whatever kind of love we see in this world 99% of that love is asakti not prema but bhagwan or the bhaktas no mahatmas will show us how to love without any expectation puja swami ji parama guru avas shri uh, Shivanandji Maharaj used to run a um, hospital, dispensary actually hospital. In he because he was a he was a doctor by profession. One Swami, have you seen Swamiji's uh, pictures? Sort of huge bulk body. One day somebody saw that Maharaj is running. Shivanandji Maharaj carrying one uh, you know packet of something. He's running. That's what happened. Those they also. He ran many kilometers and found a sadhu, and gave these things to him. This back and came back. So this person asked, "What happened, Swamiji? Why are you running?" Said that sadhu came for some, you know, treatment. And all those days, you know, there was no hospitals or nothing. So he forgot to take the medicines. See, and Maharaj took this and ran after him. It's this is all not you know showing. Now when we are telling this, we all feel that no, there was nobody to see or to show, because he felt genuinely that you know if it is without this medicine, he will not be able to really complete this yatra. So he ran and gave it and came for what? Is there is any expectation? Nothing, because he loved them. See how Mahatmas love us, Mahatmas. do not love us like we love them mahatmas love us because they see bhagwan in us no so their love for us is because they see themselves there is an the atma tattva in everyone so when they are you know serving when they are loving us that is like there was a great uh, mahatma Known as Nyanananda Saraswati Maharaj, he was also a disciple of Swami Shivananda Ji Maharaj. He was in Kerala, Kanyagumari, etc. You know that Kanyagumari, when he started, he was staying there also before all ashrams. He himself will cook. Sometimes there will be thirty, forty people. Okay, he himself will cook. He will himself will serve. And sometimes there will not be nothing. because see people know <laughs> when they know there is food then more people come <laughs> that's how so sometimes he will cook and then will serve everyone only after everybody takes food he will make he will have and many times there will not be food so the disciples face what is this swami ji you know we they feel very bad thing about eh <laughs> the guru is feeding us and there is no food for he says see through all of you who ate i am really not hungry because they don't see the bhakta as a different person they say they see themselves reflected in this all bhakta or they say bhagwan himself in the all bhaktas that is why we should do satsangha see all these things we can read and then <laughs> debate but unless we meet such people who live this life you know it is impossible for us to really walk the path otherwise slowly slowly all the spirituality also will become a business you know, a means for loka it's okay i don't think it's okay but <laughs> but unless unless we have mahatmas unless we see them unless we live with them unless we you know imbibe their values in our life real spiritual life is not possible so that's why i say tadeva sadhyatam tadeva sadhyatam no if we really want to grow in our spiritual life if we want to achieve the ishvara sakshatkar atma sakshatkar what we should have we should have the association with bhagwan not only with bhagwan it is difficult to have that kind of association so have association with bhaktas 
ಮಹಾತ್ಮಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಪುರುಷ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹೇ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ದೇರ್ ಕೃಪಾದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಟೇಕ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇವ್ಡ್ when shyam krishna was there last years many youngsters used to come to him and sometimes they stay with uh, bhagwan and bhagwan was very strict you know what to eat how much to eat so that you can do your sadhana etc but there are youngsters 17 18 16 <laughs> 10 years old boys so sometimes they become very hungry okay so mother sarada devi used to stay in ahbat she only used to cook and then see mother no they by just looking at us they know what we are so mother will call them and will give them something to eat one day bhagwan saw that after the <laughs> meal after some time so he will sit there when the meals are served and she will see that how many chapatis are given etc etc and one day he saw that you know by evening mother is calling them and giving them food so i was very angry said what are you doing to mother what are you doing you no know, if you feed like them they will sleep only who will do sadhan bhajan then mother entered into a different bhav and she said you don't worry i will take care so will you that bhagwan did namaskar and came out <laughs> when mahatma you know when <laughs> jagadambika herself is taking care now what is there <laughs> so that grace that grace is see it is impossible for us to become perfect you no know? human beings are so but there will be always in you know something lacking but when we surrender to mahatma when we take the lotus feet of a mahatma as our ashraya then their grace work on us and their great transformation happened to us so tadeva sadhyatam tadeva sadhyatam so which is very very important that we we ah uh, take refuge at the lotus feet of mahatmas that is the most important thing in the path of bhakti so we have to do this but now the shastra goes on about dussanga why because satsanga is very important but dussanga is so also we should know because because ha dussanga ha dussanga sarvadha eva tyajya ha dussanga ha sarvadha eva tyajya ha dussanga has to be ha ah, renounced by all means you have to give up, give up dussanga very very important in our spiritual path dussanga sarvatha sarvatha means in by all means by all means means desha kala avastha rupa the dussanga bad company desha wherever bad company is possible there that place has to be given up we should not go to a place where is, where there is a possibility of dussanga that's why they say you know some people go to the uh, parties and everything then we ask them why are you going there 
Oh, what is there? Everywhere God is there. Everywhere God is there, but in which form? That we do not know. Okay? So everything is food. So drink some poison. Poison also khadim only. No, what? Why? Why it is blocked? Because a place where such things happen, there is all possibilities of dusak. Desha. Time. There are some times. No, our Veda Shastra also says that please do not go out of your house after this time. This Dusanga is not only what can be seen. Dusanga is of different levels. What can be seen, what cannot be seen. See, so when we become more and more uh, spiritual, we become more and more uh, transparent. And these forces can actually influence us fast. See, when we have so much of thick, thick skin, nothing can touch us. But whereas we become more and more, because when we walk this path of spirituality, we become more and more subtle. You know, our uh, we become more and vulnerable also. Because we are, because our doing japa, tapas, etc., so our mind becomes more and more pure, you know. See, you, it's very difficult to break this, uh, this wall. But it's very, very easy to break that, that uh, glass. Slowly we become transparent. So that's why there are so many rules for a sadhaka. You know, what to do, what to, where to go, you know, what time. Everything is said because kala is also important. You know, see, Shastra, I have told you, you see, these, these times are not good. And then we go and then take up that something. Then there will be, there will be uh, some effects. So, desha kala. Next is avastha. In our, uh, you now there are different uh, avasthas, different, uh, what is that, uh, uh, situations. There are different situations which can actually affect us. So be careful. The situations, good situations, bad in the sense, please don't think that good, bad, okay? But that situation, if those situations actually affect us, then that is, that should be shunned. So place, time, situations and different types of some sats, some uh, some dusanga comes in the form of satsanga. Yes, suppose you know we are walking a path. This is very important. Okay, we are walking a path, and if we come in contact with people who are ridiculing it, who are censuring it, who is uh, you know always put all, everything is in a understand that that is dusanga for us. By itself, it may not be Dusanga, but for us, suppose I am a Rama Bhakta. Okay, I am a great Rama Bhakta. Rama is my life. And when we go, and then a person is sitting there and then telling all the stories of Sita Parityaga and then you know Bali Harana, Bali Vada, etc., etc., and making fun of Bhagavan, etc. This person may be a great orator. This person could be a, even a sadhu. But for us, that is Dusanga. Dusanga is not only, you know, so this is very important. See, whatever nourishes us, whichever situations gives us, you know, solace and, and right path and right understanding, you know, those people who actually help us, that is satsanga for us. The same person can be a dusanga for another person. So that's why we should be very careful when we are giving you know, Upadeshas, etc. We see that it is not hurting people. Because uh, sometimes, you know, people, they come and then sit. Now they cannot get up and go also. <laughs> so making fun of Devatas, making fun of the Veda, making fun of this, you know, that is all very, very dangerous. And we should be very careful when we speak. Okay. So, this is Dusangaha. So, Desha, Kala, Avastha, Rupa. In different types of Dusanga, different you know, situations of Dusanga, different times and different 
places where dusanga can happen sarvatha always tyajya we have to give up as a sadhaga also as a siddha also sadhaga because it will ruin us siddha because they should be the you know the role model for the society so after you become a great mahatma realize master also please remember that ha ah, dusanga sarvatha eva tyajya okay dusanga so this is very see in our life we are not able to gain lot of money that's okay but if you start to inquire lot of depth that will be very you know we are not getting good milk so let us drink some water from the you know drainage <laughs> so so dusanga very 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 so what is dusanga first thing dusanga means dushta jana sanga what is dusanga dushta jana sanga association with bad people what do you mean by bad anything which will you know poison our heart anything will create unnecessary confusions anything will 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 you know pull us down from the path of dharma that is bad for us dusanga so durjana sanga dusanga second is dusanga means not only durjana sanga but durashaya ashaya ashaya means different theories different uh, you know philosophies different kinds of arguments which can actually destroy our bhakti our shraddha our vishwasa that is also dussanga so unless we gain a very strong you know to a spiritual maturity is better we do not start to study or read different 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 scriptures once we become strong then any shastra you can read any acharya any shastra because we understand our standpoint and then we understand that is his standpoint but without that when we start to read there is a wide reading this what happens see in the beginning when unless we are established in our understanding our spiritual practices clarity is you know not yet uh, 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 again is better we do not read opposite kind of thoughts because that will really create lot of you know havoc in our spiritual life so dussanga means all these kinds of uh, durvada wrong kinds of arguments for us <laughs> so satsanga so dussanga mean durjana sanga durvada sanga keep on reading things which are not correct or good for our spiritual growth that can create trouble so durvada sanga third durvastu sanga there are some things in this world which can create negative images in our heart you know durvastu so when we keep on associated associate ourselves with this kind of wrong i mean you know the things which can pull us from the path of dharma you know pull us from the path of righteousness from ishwara that durvastu sanga all those things which can you know create trouble that also should be avoided <laughs> oh swami ji you have uh, oh a good nice uh, bottle of wine yeah 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 why are you keeping wine with you sarvam brahma mayam re re sarvam brahma mayam <laughs> everything is brahma only ah oh, very good but then afterwards <laughs> this wine will you know, see sometimes no a ah, lot of cough and somebody somebody tells swami ji wine is very good no no i know i should not but then when wine is with me maybe you know my cold will go away because of this <laughs> then what happens for removing why cold i sip and then i thought night i am not getting very good sleep somebody says you know ah that's it <laughs> so 
దుర్ దుర్వస్తు సో డోంట్ కీప్ సచ్ థింగ్స్ విత్ అస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆ మేతో సంభాలుగా నో నో బికాస్ అవర్ మైండ్ ఈస్ సో యునో వెయిటింగ్ టు పుల్ అస్ డౌన్ సో దుర్జన దుర్వాద దుర్వస్తు సంఘ అండ్ దుర్దేశ ప్లేసెస్ వై ఆర్ యూ గోయింగ్ టు దిస్ బార్ బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు మెడిటేట్ యు ఆర్ మెడిటేటింగ్ ఇన్ ద బార్ ఎస్ ఇఫ్ ఐ మెడిటేట్ ఇన్ ద బార్ దెన్ ఐ కెన్ మెడిటేట్ ఎనీ వే దట్స్ ఆల్ గుడ్ బట్ యు నో ద మెడిటేషన్ విల్ గో ఇన్ టు సంథింగ్ ఎల్స్ so those places will create that kind of negative thoughts in our heart we should shun we should we should never knowingly enter into that place the unknowingly if we enter we leave as early as possible very very important so dushtajana dushtavada dushtavastu dushtak desha dushtakala wrong times see in our mind also there are there are some days very good some days not that good mind is very is kala time so that dushta kala time dush sang that's also a sangha with kala we should see that how fast we can come out of that time with some right things you know you are sitting down and wrong kinds of thoughts are coming mind is getting get up and go to temple or wherever some positive things are possible don't play the kala is very very powerful okay so dusangah sarvadha eva tyajya by all means we should give up the all kinds of association with wrong people see this wrong is he said apekshika pada okay something which is wrong for us could be very good for another person something which is very good for another person can be very wrong for us okay this is an apekshika so we have no right to criticize anyone that is good for them but for us we should be very jagrada jagrada for our path for our understanding for our growth whatever is not uh, supportive that which creates unnecessary confusion and then doubts that is not good for us so dussangah sarvatha eva tyajya other is what happens our mind which is supposed to go to bhagavan will be pulled from bhagavan very easily because the river always want to go to the you know, lower plains we are trying to change the direction of the mind back to bhagwan very difficult impossible actually so we are trying all this years and years of tapas one darshan of mohini god no just uh, menaka came once god some small thing came anger came god sometime lobha came see so hundreds of years of tapas can be destroyed like this so far so dusangah sarvatha eva tyajya otherwise it will destroy yes why it is so two more shlokas mantra sar i mean sutra sar we just we read that tomorrow we'll see in different kama krodha kama krodha moha smriti ब्रह्म स्मृति भ्रंश बुद्धिनाश सर्वनाश कारण तरंगायिता अपी इमे संगात समुद्राय ते अतः what will happen dussangah sarvadeva tyajya so we have to give up dussanga okay om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purname va vasishyate om shanti 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 hi hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om.